Hi guys, it's Maaike. I'm back with a specialty card. It's a light up card and I've used the Lon von Anglerfish from the latest release. I'm not really sure, but you look so cute. And um, yeah, I had this idea immediately when I saw the Anglerfish and um, shockingly I'm coloring him or it, her, I don't know, orange with Deco Time Alco brush markers. Um, because I wanted to show you the color chart I'm working on, but the video is very long and I sped it up quite a lot already to make it 12 minutes and a bit. So I'm considering the light uh, not casting the shadow and his body being a little bit round or her. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> it looks like a him to me. And um, yeah, orange because of the sea. And I did look up anglerfish on the internet and they seem to be brown or orange. I'm not sure what they really look like, just scary big teeth, that's all I know. And um, I have the Avery L anglerfish set as well, that bites I think it's called. And they are quite more scary, so <laughs> I bought this one because I want to make a light up card. Also. Every L, not sure it's still available, but that's also cute. And for uh, blending the background, I am using Distress Inks, Salvage Patina, Peacock Feathers, and Uncharted Mariner, I think. Mariner, that really dark blue. And uh, I'm looking how big my circle is because I want to cut out the shape. Instead of doing the whole card front sea like and yeah, two handed blending because you know <laughs> it gets tired, and uh, then I splattered it with water just so you get bubbles. And I like this kind of greenish blue. Yeah, I did speed it up quite a lot, but <laughs> it still takes a while. And I thought, you know, the circle is nice, and then you can, uh, yeah, uncharted marina. See, you can hide the battery underneath better. I washed some of my brushes, and these are new ones. They blend better because the bristles are not stuck together. So I have to figure out how to deal with that. I'm not never washing them again. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, I thought, you know, there's so much ink in them. I don't know if the color is still the right one. <coughs> Sorry. But um, then they stopped blending because they got all clumped together, I think. You know when you wash your favorite teddy and the fur is all weird? I'm going to try to brush it out. Uh, you can use any shape, of course, if you want. You can do the whole panel. I just want it to keep the weight to a minimum, but also have an easy way to hide the battery. So, circle. <laughs> and splatters. So let that dry. While I work on the lamps, and I went for yellow. And yeah, I'm showing you one leg, I would say prong, is longer. And that's the plus. And you can test it. If you turn it, it doesn't work. See. And I'm showing you that's the lamp and the prong, a bit exaggerated, but plus and minus, that's important. Also I'm using a 2016 battery, which is not as high as 2032, 2020 of course, but also runs out quicker, there's less energy in it, but you know, I'm making it so you can change it, so that's a bit of a shame. I'm positioning it where I want, so I know where to punch a hole. And I'm trying to get that bubble that's there. I couldn't, so my hole puncher. And yeah, don't do that on your best mat because it will even imprint and not cut through the paper. It's still wet, I think, but that's fine. I'm using the inside of my foam tape roll because now there's um, a light poking out. 
And to make it fit around the battery, you just bend it. Or just, you have to be a bit careful, but I'm making um, a curve and then the other prong <coughs> a little bit higher. And I'm doing it off screen, it's really stupid. But I'm <laughs> trying to show you there, it works. And you don't need any tape or wires or weird things. But it means you can only have the mechanism within the reach of the prongs, of course. And for this, it's great. If you want more lights, use a very light. Yeah, this is where I'm marking where it should go. And also if plus or minus should go there and I'm trying to attach it so it doesn't move and it still works. See. And I know where to put the foam tape. Which I'm doubling up and cutting really thin strips off. <laughs> I'm trying to show you again how I folded. I wasn't happy with the bend. And I'm also doubling up the circle because I thought this C is a little bit thin and you might see through it. I didn't ever actually check it, I just did it before I knew it was needed. But you can see it's quite bendy. And I thought oh, I'll use black so you can't see the light coming out. But this one and it wasn't sticking anymore. Um, it, it comes undone at the beginning and then it collects dust and it dries out, I think. But there you go. So, second circle, I'm just putting it on top. And in all fairness, I think it's easier to glue it down and then punch it. But I didn't want to do that in case the glue oozes out everywhere. Sorry, I toyed with the idea of using a stencil uh, from Brimsy Stems as Ocean Stencil that has shapes you could use in the background. I feel like I used that before. If you see the, uh, my cards on Instagram, you know, or Pinterest or my blog. Um, but I also die cuts from Brimsy Stems, the Ocean Builder set. I didn't like it. <laughs> I mean, I opened it, I separated them, I looked at it, I thought, oh yeah. But, um, push here. It needs all the attention and the little light, I think. So, you can do whatever you want, of course. I'm just here to show you an easy way to make light up cards if you have LEDs. I got these on uh, Amazon NL. But I'm sure you can get them anywhere. Hardware stores, they are plenty. And they're much cheaper than the craft versions. I'm sorry always are or dollar store maybe um, as i say i've used christmas fairy lights the mini led for my light up card with bugs i was clearly with subtle bugs i think in a jar and i used three lights and i also used fairy lights with all the lights and that was quite hard to hide all the cable but of course you have more batteries and more thickness to deal with and my idea was to m uh, minimize the weight with the circle and easier to raise it off the card base with the battery. And of course I'm using a thinner battery. But um, yeah, then I had to mount the little <laughs> fishy guy as well. And then it gets dimensional anyway. So I'm still sticking it down. <laughs> it's a bit fumbly, especially at 3 a.m. I couldn't sleep before I'm going to do it now and spend my time wisely. 
instead of sleeping. <laughs> yeah, actually, I tried to sleep. There was a mosquito that was annoying me and zooming around my head. And then when I tried to find it, it was gone. I couldn't find it anywhere. And I posted it on Facebook. I thought they go invisible. They have a um, cloak of invisibility. <laughs> yeah, don't know where they go. So instead of getting annoyed, I made a card. I'm showing you how I'm trying to f encase the battery in a smart way so it doesn't go anywhere. But it must, doesn't make direct contact. Of course, where the prongs are narrower, it will touch easy. So I want it only to light up when you push it <laughs> quite firmly. So if you buy these LED at the hardware, they're like a few cents. Of course, I got a big box of colored ones. We can do white, blue, you know, uh, red and green, maybe not. Frankly, I like to keep the uh, white ones or the, the neutral ones for other cards and yellow for them. That goes well with blue and uh, deep sea. And yeah, these are the die cuts, Ocean Builder die sets from Whimsy. <laughs> 20.99 euros. Of course, I bought everything myself, in case you're wondering. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> um, but I, I like to show you stuff. And if you have different fish, like the Avery L, or um, I'm sure there's other brands that have them. Mm, I'm here to give you ideas. So there's my card. Thank you for watching, hope to see you again soon, until then, bye!